This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing uh, Valkyrie Chronicles. Last time we uh, destroyed uh, the Empire's uh, trading post or whatever. And now if you see right um, off screen, I went ahead and did a bit of uh, buying some stuff. I bought a new order uh, sniper um, assistance. I've never had it before, but it sounds interesting where I can actually have a sniper kill an enemy. It's I don't know how it works, but I'll test it out in a skirmish later. I also got another order from upgrading my character's uh, attack boost, which is nice. And um, I traded out one of my shock soldiers, Kobe, for one of my favorite shock troopers, Jane, which is who is a, who's a sadist, but she's really good. Um, and I also went ahead and bought something off the wall. If you see, there's a blue little uh, note thing on the side. That means you bought a chapter. I don't know if I mentioned that, but as you can see, report a taste of home. So this is a pretty short one, but it, you know, it involves Alicia and Gunther, and I thought that would be nice to see it real quick. You know, learn a little more about our characters. More, this is more specifically more about Alicia, but it's still cool to, you know, learn more about. So we'll go ahead and watch this, and then we'll take on Chapter 6, I believe? And done. That takes care of the report. Hmm? Who's there? Right. Hans. Hans? Did you come here all by yourself? Boy, you sure are smart. Hey, stop tugging, Hans. What's up? Is there something this way? Okay, okay, I get it. Lead the way. And you can stop biting my boots already. Hans doesn't even have a mouth, it looks like. I guess he traded his mouth in for a wings, which I think is, you yeah, know, I, I might do that. No, 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 I, I like being able to eat a dog. You went and got Welkin for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. Smartest pig in the universe right here. I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Oh, no, I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Welkin? Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. Really? Oh, good. I whipped a little something up for you. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa. All right, let's see what uh, Alicia made for us. In the kitchen. I hope it's food. Wow. Delicious buns of never bread. Seen so much bread in one place. You baked Must all have been this into yourself, a bakery Alicia? before, have you, Elkin? Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I made anything. I was worried I might be getting a bit rusty. But the oven was free, so I helped myself. Mm, it smells great. Okay. Here goes. Impressive. Um. 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 Welkin, you look like a chipmunk. You know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why. <laughs> Next time someone makes me a meal and I think it's delicious, I'm gonna do just what Welkin did. I'm gonna look like I'm praying or I'm in pain, and it's like del delicious. Delicious food! I could go for some carbohydrates right now. Oh, I'm so full. That was great, huh, Hans? Right. Well, you sound very full, Hans. I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary watching you two eat. <laughs> Just look like two monsters. Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. You're welcome. Oh, welcome. Uh, you have some... 
there's just a little crumb. There we go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you said you worked at a bakery before the war started? Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. Wow. You need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. It's been my dream since I was a little girl. It's what I enjoy doing the most. I love imagining entire families eating the bread I make together. A loving husband, maybe, and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home. She comes in with a big basket of my bread, and the kids all cheer and embrace her. Okay. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? She could say, Oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard, and then she'd... <laughs> uh... Listen to me. <laughs> That's just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin, but I, um... Are... are you all right, Alicia? Huh? I, I'm fine. Anyway, I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. It's a deal. And thanks again. Ta, what a cute scene. But yeah, see, Woken, now, now you know how everyone else feels when you start talking about bugs. Alright, the desert encounter into the Badlands. Oh, this fight. You know, there's going to be a couple more fights, I think, where I just use the scouts. It's just the early parts where you can really just use scouts for a lot of them. I'm sorry about that, but we will be using a lot more of our other characters. You know, soon when the levels get a little more intense. Trust me, the next level after this gets freaking intense. It's crazy. And we'll be needing to use every character we have. Oh man, that fight is crazy. But it's a good crazy. <gasps> Watermelons. Delicious! Why aren't you eating a you vegetable, what? Largo? This They're like bombs packed with place. nutrients. Rocks with holes in them. Dug up ground as far as the eye can see. Not always. They say this used to be a huge ancient city. Now there's nothing but desert left. We all know what happened. The Darkson Calamity happened. They say the Dark Hairs used some kind of dark arts to burn the city. Left nothing but ash. Can't see what kind of magic it used to burn up this much land, though. It's just crazy. I don't know. Isara said that was a myth with no real historical evidence. Look, their kind has been digging up Ragnite since forever. So who's to say they don't know some weird, darksony type way to use the stuff as a weapon? I'm just saying. Anyway, as I was saying, we are in the middle of the Badlands. And what exactly are we doing here? We've received some intelligence. They're saying the Imperials have set up a base near the Barius ruins. Squad 7 was sent out here to investigate. We need to verify the information. Imperians here? Some sandbox to come play in. I don't get those Imperians. Who knows what they're thinking? <laughs> She's right. Something is definitely up here. I mean, I just can't figure it out, you know? Why would they occupy this place? Enemy sighted! Tanks at 040. Distance 800. Hold on. Yes. There are foot soldiers as well. And they're taking up combat positions. Well, it looks like we found our bad guys. Squad 7, combat formation. Uh, sorry, Welcome. We're not gonna need that. We're only gonna need one scout, and that's pretty much Alicia again. I mean, like I said. I can tear- you can tear through these levels with just a scout. For now, like I said though, later on, you won't really be able to do that, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Gives you a little more variety. That guy's a creepy face. I didn't think you could look any gloomier. Oh, it's you. Leave me be. 
No need to be unfriendly, is there? Is there something on your mind, Gregor? His Grace Maximilian. Barius holds no strategic worth. Why lead a force there himself? He took Selvaria with him, so it probably has something to do with the Valkyrer. <gasps> Title drop! His Grace places too much stock in the power of the Valkyrer. Maybe. But I can understand the fascination easily enough. The power of the Valkyrer is enough to claim all of Europa. Maybe the entire globe. Even without it, the Empire's military strength is quite capable of taking control of Europa. The stronger you are, the shorter that road. <laughs> I say let him be. My homeland's independence is riding on Maximilian's word. I need him to return to the court with enough clout to honor that deal. Relax, we'll hear all about their desert adventures soon enough. Alright, just those two dudes talking. Let's go ahead and take on this mission. Oh my gosh, gotta stretch my back. Oh gosh. Alright. Making this sound like I'm doing such hard work. Oh my god, I'm playing a video game. It's so difficult. No, it's not, yo. I'm stopping such a freaking wuss. Give me a break. You're just playing a video game. You're sitting on your ass and pressing buttons. It's not difficult. Alright. Now, this one can be pretty easy, thankfully, because I have the um, defense. Um, I have the defense ability. So I can just breeze through this with Alicia. But we're going to put all of our other characters out here anyways, just for fun. So, um, the new character I got is Jane, and she's extremely good. Um, she's a sadist? <laughs> she's pretty useful, though. Um, so yeah, normally, though, you'll also, in this level, um, I'm pretty sure I can skip it, because, um, I don't know if that's only with the skirmishes. Hopefully, I'll be, hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully, I don't. Uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna make sure, just in case things don't go my way, I'm I'm gonna add Largo. Uh, okay. I'll put, you know, I'll put a scout up here, but I'll put another, just one more right here. Just to be safe. Do I have Rosie on here? I know, I'm sorry, this is kind of annoying. Do I have Rosie already? Because she gives me another point in movement. No. Okay, just get rid of... Uh, yeah. I should be able, though, right, to just run to through this here. whole field with... Um, with... Uh, Alicia. With the defense boost, I should be able just to run through the whole thing. Get to the flag. I mean, because you need to do that, you can skip through a lot of the fights. You just need to, you know, the enemy get the flag. Out through the desert region. Squad seven, move out. Okie dokie. I should be getting this done in. I might be getting this one d done in this one turn if I if I do this right. This place is really something else. I've never seen rocks with holes like these. Falio was saying those holes are the result of the same blast that scorched the area. There are furrows dug into the ground, too. Must have really been some explosion. Are you serious? That's crazy. Yeah, but those trenches and rock walls should make for solid cover. On an open field like this, we'll use whatever we can get. Squad 7, move out. So I guess we should be thanking the Dark Sins? Alright, that should be enough turns. Alright, orders, let's go ahead and give her defense order boost. This is I think order. that's pretty much all we need. Yeah. Brace up and get ready to defend yourself. Alright, Alicia, you're going to be doing again all the work. <laughs> Moving out. Poor Lisa, she really has her work cut out for her. All, right, all you need to do is take every hit that comes to you, heal up, and get to the area. Enemy Thankfully with the defense spotted. boost though, 
As you can see, the only thing I had to worry about is maybe the uh, the um, the shock troopers because they can do quite a bit of damage in a short amount of time. All right, heal up real quick, Alicia. Get your life back. She's got some cool looking gloves. Nice, all the way healed. I love the way they click their gun, even though I don't know why they would click their gun because they didn't use it. But I don't know anything about I know nothing about guns, so um Enemy unit spotted. So anyways, here comes an event. It looks like the wind's really picking up. I suspect it's a sandstorm, Welks. These badlands are infamous for sandstorms, bad enough to drop visibility to zero. I see. That'll make it tougher to spot the enemy until the storm blows over. Yes. But the same applies to the enemy. Now is our chance to advance undetected. Hiding within the sandstorm is a valid tactic when crossing ground with no natural cover. Good idea. Thanks, Ease. Now, I won't really need to do that. Hopefully, it doesn't prevent me from shooting the other enemy that's around here that I want to kill. Okay, now hopefully she does not die. She should be okay, but as you can see, we're just trying to get over there. The shock trooper is my biggest worry right now. Okay, good. Heal. Hopefully this goes away so I can deal with that enemy. He is the only enemy um, at the base, so if I could get rid of him, the base is ours. But the sandstorm, though, could prov could be a problem, and I'm pretty much all out of moving. Ooh, see, that's going to take a lot of turns to kill him. Okay, well, actually what I can do... <coughs> is go ahead... An attack boost. This is an order! That might help. Attack with everything you've got! Now, this could end... Badly, because Alicia's out here all by herself. Let me see something real quick. Order. So, I'm, never, I'm not gonna use that. Moving right. out. Now the big problem is because she doesn't have that much movement left. She can't move very far. If I could just let's see, let's see if we can do some damage to him. Okay, we got rid of that. That's really all that matters. Now they should be, no, they get her, because all they'll do is summon more snipers from here, so she should be okay if I get rid of this guy. Nice, good job, Alicia. Now, now if I can just inch her forward to the flag, we will have this done in one turn. Okay, come on, Alicia, we have two. We can do this, come on. Oh yes! Bam! Done! So yeah, um, you're not- <laughs> that's usually supposed to take a little longer, you're supposed to deal with a lot of enemies, a lot of lancers, a lot of gunners, a lot of snipers, a lot, because they like to summon Operation snipers complete. every turn. We took their base. But uh, since we just use Alicia, who is amazing, we just did that. And as you can see, we got quite a few dollar bills, y'all. So I'll be upgrading our characters and our weapons off screen. But first we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> I can't believe I did that real quick. We're gonna go ahead and do So I'm making this game look really boring because I've been going through every mission. I think I've gotten an A rank on every mission, except for the tutorial. No no no, I got an A rank on the tutorial. The one I didn't get an A rank on was the second mission after tutorial. But you can't get an A rank on that. Huh? What's this supposed to be anyway? It's your new home, Largo. What a weird place for something like this. Looks kind of like a turtle shell. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins' interior. The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm, where could it have been? This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrie themselves. 
So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkyra make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Valkyra just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. <laughs> I love the little uh, shiny things around his head. Of course he'd be thinking ruins about that. Look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. I really doubt it. Welkin, you can be such a... Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. All right, in we go. See, so yeah, I think we can squeeze the visitor in the temp at the temple real quick, and then we'll just end the video here. Overall, I think we've got a we done we did done pretty good. Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? What do you read, child? Valkov, the Holy Lance, scorcher of the vast earth, asleep eternal in the bosom of Randrees. Made pillar of its keeper's keep, kept thereby for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. Chapter 7. The Battle at Barius. Oh man, this chapter. Um, but you know though, I'm gonna end the video here and we will go ahead and start chapter 7 in the next part. So this has been Yom Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue playing more Valkyrie Chronicles. Okay, bye then.